Okay, we're back. Um, we are leaving. We're out of here. I punched that guy in the face, and now we're out. Yeah. Done. Dredge are everywhere, finally free of Frostveller. Better hope somebody at Wormtoe can help. You know, one thing that I always thought was interesting about this game is that... Uh, those days are going so quickly. Guys, you've got to walk faster than that, or you're going to have to eat each other. Donner party! Appropriate that we're going into the snow for that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that and Donner is a German name, which, you know, German is north. Uh, <laughs> the words of a mother's song reach you. It's soothing nuance and about your current journey. When she finishes, a man begins a tale of his own in verse. A woman quickly responds to another poem. And the entire caravan slows to listen to the entertaining composition. Oh, fuck no. Uh, we're going to ignore this and keep an eye ear out for danger. Yes, the male contestant soon admits defeat, yada, 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 and our morale did not improve. It is still poor. We still have two days of supplies. People are going to begin dying relatively <laughs> Everything shortly. sucks. Everything sucks. Everything sucks. Let's check the map. I'm no, having... No map song. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm having flashbacks to editing uh, the Bastard <laughs> Saga in Tony's Tony and little his goddamn map Dora dance. the Explorer bullshit. Okay. <sighs> We have quite a bit to go until Wormtoe, but we're almost there, so, all right. Oh, okay. We're about halfway there, which is, I mean, with four days of supplies. Yeah, I, <coughs> that's a question for you, actually. Do you think that looking at the map ever really had, like, value? It does. I feel like it's so hard to really get a judgment of, like, distance and how many days it's going to take, though, you know? So I feel like... Stocking up for supplies always kind of feels arbitrary because you're like, well, I don't know how many days I need. Yeah, I mean, but when you play the initial game and you think that there is a mechanical value attached to having people alive, then it does matter. Um, That's fair. Join in our tribute? No. I I would just decline and move on. I'm not going to waste any time looking at the godstone. No, we're not. Although the godstones are... Full of great equipment, gorgeous and amazing. Oh, and that too. They require time spent there, and we're just we don't we don't have time for that. No, we're just we're we got, pragmatic. We got this. places to be. I have people to keep alive, and by that I mean people to let starve. I love this. Look at that. There's like a little, there's like something dying out there. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, 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 too. wait, wait, wait. Hang on. We're about to pass underneath it at the exact moment we ran out of food. Is that they actually knew. is that actually an indicator? No, that's the circle of vultures. It's it's like a. Oh, it's like a story like, thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because she shoots down one. Um, Joiner in shooting down some vultures. Yeah, free food. Uh, yeah, train them. Hell yeah. T train them. Train them how to fight. You know, that is the pragmatic thing. Don't we also get a character out of that? Uh, there's, like a, there's like someone, there's a woman you get that you wouldn't get otherwise. Yes. Yes. Yes, I believe so. I don't think she's any good, but like I, it's I a think character. She's, I think she's better than some of the other archers. What? <laughs> Poor farmers, we're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us will help you in a fight for some food up front. Um, is it pragmatic to accept them? Do We don't care about their crimes, obviously. But, like... But we also don't care about them. Who are they? Are they just, like, clansmen? Yeah, they're willing to help us fight. Oh, so they might be fighters. Join us, but you'll be watched. Yeah. It's fine. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, yeah. And yeah. we don't have any actual supplies to give them, so it's not like we're losing anything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, if they were clansmen, then I mean, fuck them. Is it really day sixty? Wow, wow. It's day sixty for them. It's only day twenty, whatever, for hacking in them. Oh, that's true. Because they're three times as tall as a man, so they walk three times faster, <laughs> but need three times more food. Uh, this varl killed my father without reason. Wait, there's no actual. We don't have any varl. There's zero of them, so it has Unless to be. Unless they're talking about Ivor. Mm, they're not. But let's hear what the varl has to say. This one's father and I had a business deal. He lied. Now he's dead. Defend him? No, let them, let them settle their own dispute. It's not worth our time. All right. It's five renown. Ooh. Hey, how about that? Getting that sweet... Uh, we did, like, not lose any Varl, though, because... <laughs> because there never were any. Never were any. And is anybody else... How many people have we actually lost to starvation? I haven't been keeping track. I kind of wish there was a statistic... I wish it, they like See, showed us that would be an idea for right? like your ex your your question of the week thing. Maybe that's the consequence. Just at the end, it just tells you how many people died. So it becomes a moral challenge. Gives them all their names, backgrounds, 
Oh, Krummer! Krummer's the best. Isn't he's... he the one that's trying to live just to see how long Avarl can stay no. alive? No. Well, no, that's, I think that's um, Ubin. Is Krummer it? is just, he's like a retired Varl, basically. Yeah. He's like, and this is just like. What brings Ingvar to Wormtoe? That is dire news. Come, we have food. Oh, good. They have food here. I remember, too, when I first got to this town, I was like, you have food? <laughs> You're amazing. If I had it my way, I'd stay here and let the dredge come. But you made this a problem. You, wait, we made this a problem? No, we didn't make this a problem. Uh, the dredge are <laughs> sweeping across the nation. <laughs> I feel like this is everybody's problem. Who's, who's Jorunder? Varl King. Well, uh, close as we have. Like, they, they know that the humans don't have the 800 years of history that are necessary to understand Varl politics, so they boil it down for you. Just Varl King. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the pragmatic run. This is the Varl run. We're treating this like the Varl would, just being tired of the world. <laughs> Stop pouting, girly. Ooh. I mean, the Varl very much have the attitude of, like, why would we waste our time with any of this bullshit? It's valid. Uh, just take it easy for a while. People are noticing. Oh, they've noticed, have they? We're on the edge of dying daily, and you want me to take it easy? I should be plowing twice as many fields. <laughs> oh. 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 He does have children. That's right. Yeah. What it brings you around? Just heard yelling. Came to check it out. I like women. They like me. They like the scar. Uh, this is good living half the world just tilling soil till they keel over what kind of life is that we're lucky you could go your whole life with no goals no purpose nothing to fight against but boredom and hunger I'm glad for all this I, always I like get this. what you're saying look at this we're fighting to the death almost every day right you can curl up in a little ball of fear you can go hide in the woods eating nuts and appreciating leaves or some nonsense or you can enjoy the struggle I know which one I pick anyway just so you know never go for a let or odd leaf all yours appreciated <laughs> Mogan I, I have no opinion of him I just, I, I I really like that interaction, though, because I think that interaction alone kind of, it, it sort of sits well with the player because we're playing this game to enjoy the struggle. Yes. And while you may disagree with how he chooses to enjoy it, um, or maybe you'll agree, right? I think it's, it's sort of a very, like, it's not really like breaking the fourth wall, but it's a very, like, I get that. Yeah. That's a very it's, relatable uh, thing. Yeah, and I think that that's important. And another one, it's it's another one of those uh, examples of a time where they tie the mechanics of a game, the struggle, into the narrative of the game, and then yes. give you a character who has an insight on that that might be useful to the player. Mm -hmm. It's good design. Yeah, absolutely, and good writing <laughs> for that matter. Yes, the writing is also really, really good. But that's that's just a testament to the quality. Did they really have a bunch of people who used to work for Blizzard? No, no, it's uh, Bioware. Bioware. I didn't know that. Yeah. A lot of Stoic were, were uh, our ex-Bioware oh, employees. That's really cool. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's why they're so good at writing dynamic stories. That's valid. <laughs> <laughs> no argument there. Um, do I want to stick Krumer in here? I think I oh, do. Fuck yeah, you uh, do. I want him instead of Oddleaf, because I don't really... Actually, you know what? Eagle's not very good Yeah, right you're now. not using Eagle, so... I... And I'm not using him to his full advantage, and he's not leveled up, and... Eagle's really good. Don't... I'm not... I'm not suggesting that Eagle's not worth using, because he is. He really is. But he's um, not good for Nick, because Nick doesn't use abilities. Yes. <laughs> that, that would... Yeah, pretty much. Um, market. Uh, do I want to buy... I, I still am voting no supplies. I could get seven days of supplies. I mean, the trade-off is really huge. It's 11. It's a 1 to 4 ratio. But like, I keep letting people die. Do I feel like letting people die of starvation? I mean, you could also buy that real... Oh, wait, we only have 11 renown. I could buy Bale's Locket. I could buy the Bloodshed. Plus one willpower per kill. Whoa, that's actually... That's actually... That's really good. For five? Yeah! That's really good. It must be on the person that does the kill, though, yeah. not like the horn. No, 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 no. But that still is awesome. It doubles your total willpower return from killing enemies. Yeah. Wow, that would be good for Hakan. That'd be so good. Too bad he can't have it right now. But, uh, I, yeah, I, I'd give it a Rook. What does he have right now? Um, a Let's Bracelet. One Armor Strength Willpower. Um... Give it a, yeah, I was going to say Krumer. <laughs> what am I going to wear this human bracelet on? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny, too. Uh, we're leaving. I don't have time to stay here. I didn't want to talk to anybody, because, again, pragmatic saga. Who's got time to talk? Right. Grofheim's a few days out. Ha ha ha. Grofheim. <laughs> right. Grofheim. 
do we do we that. meet up with the other party near Grafheim? Uh, ah, yeah, because they're leaving Grafheim because it's on As fire, we, uh, and we're yeah. Uh, stop. No need for bloodshed. Leave a couple wagons and pretend you never even stopped here. <laughs> yeah, don't even hesitate. Don't even. even hesitate. I can kill you. I know I can do that. And we get experience yes, for doing it. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, it's not yeah. like we were going to do anything else. You don't get experience for talking your way out of fights in this game, which I think is simultaneously a good thing and kind of a bad thing. That is an interesting point, actually, because there are a lot it, of games. It where incentivizes yeah. you getting into fights more frequently. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I guess you're penalized because if you fall, you have injured characters. It's it's an interesting balance. I think it works in this game, though. I, I like personally as a designer, I feel like I would have strayed away from that because I would have found it too risky. Yeah, or too that difficult people would to just balance. Kill their way through your game. Precisely, but at the same time, like I think I think Stoic did a really surprisingly good job at balancing that. I agree. Oh, good. That won't be devastating later. Um, I could hit this guy, except he used that shield ability, so yeah. I can't hit this guy. Can you break his armor while he's doing that? No, you actually can't do anything to them while they're doing that. Ooh. Yeah, their their soaking extends even to their armor damage. Wow, that's, that's why intense. that ability is really, really good. That's why Eagle's useful. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I don't use him. No. <laughs> um, yeah, could I'd, hit this I'd, guy with my ability. I Yeah, I would just bloody flail him. I'm gonna spend willpower and do some extra fun stuff. Five times I hit him? That seems worth it. Yeah, knock down his armor to a point where now you can deal real damage to him and knock his health down to the point where he really can't do anything. That's good. Um, she's gonna go there. She's not gonna be useful. Oh, for, for a second I while. thought that was a let, and I was like, why the hell did you put her boy way back there? Uh, because I'm bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, that's that's one thing that I often get confused by. I feel like a lot of the enemies I'm gonna look trap very similar. That space. Fuck you. That's awesome. He walks right into it. Did not even hesitate. That was awesome. Amazing. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna break this guy's armor. Good day, sir. Yeah, I feel like as far as most battles are Straight concerned, I feel like this one is relatively easy on that scale. It is, it is, because you've just got your second Varl, and now I've got a whole lot of like upgraded human characters that I can use to wreak havoc. I actually wonder if the point of this battle then is to kind of like give you a chance to test out Krumer. Give, give, yeah, give it the player a chance to test him out, but also kind of be one of those like. Um, Sort of rest points. Yeah. Um, because it's like, it's so easy. It's like, it just sort of becomes enjoyable. You're just like, it does a little through bit. these people and being like, yeah, whatever. I'm just mowing them down. No big deal. NBD. Pretty much. All right. I'm going to bloody fill this guy again because I can. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've never once managed to hit the RNG necessary to take a guy out with one strike like that. You dealt what? Five damage. Five to damage him? to him through his seven armor. God damn. Yeah. Bloody flail. That that's exactly when it Stop. pays off. Ow. Ooh. Yikes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I could take him out, and I will. Yeah. You might as well. They have, what, two guys left now? Uh, something like that. They've got oh, these two and the archer, who isn't going to be useful. The archer's uh, only going to be dangerous for the one turn it takes me to chase her down. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I think this is the first she's time the archer's actually shot. Once. Yep. First time she's ever actually had the, the range. And here we are, and now you're dead. I mean, I not like... I think we definitely were given some sort of strategical advantage to for just attacking immediately. I think this is one of those moments where the game rewards you for choosing the choice that you made. For being very decisive, yep. yeah. I, I always kind of appreciated that, though, about Banner Saga. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to toy with that in the next game. I hope they don't toy with it too much, because I hope they don't play with the format I, I do, well, actually, I hope they play with it just enough to keep you on your toes, right? Yeah. Because once you figure sure. out the Banner Saga, the first game, um, if, you know, if that same strategy works in the second game, then yeah. are you really, like, getting a new experience? Yeah, I'll give you that. But at the same time, I'm always, I'm always a proponent of if it worked the first time, why change it? Yeah, but I think my counter-argument to that is why make a second game? Ah, because the story's not finished. I don't know if you played it's... this game to the end. Have you seen the the way that it ends? 
It's, uh... I mean, you're, you are right. The story is not done. But I think there, there's a threshold, right, where I think they need to change it up enough to keep it interesting and, sure. and like, engaging. Yeah. But if they change it too much, you end up with a game like Mass Effect where it's suddenly a whole different game. Yeah, and the games don't resemble each other even across, like, one playthrough. Yeah. But anyway, this is the end of the episode. We went a little long because I wanted to finish this battle. Ah, fair enough, yeah. Um... Okay, aside from Stonewall, Bloody Flail, and uh, uh, who's the guy with the with the you go now ability? The Mark. The no, 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 the guy who makes allies go faster than normal. Oh, the like inspire. Inspire, whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, those is. apart from those three abilities, which are useful, Oddleaf's ability as well to set a trap. Apart from those four abilities, um, what are some abilities that you like to use in this game? Um, and even what abilities did they not have in this game do you think would work very well in this game? I'd like to see some more movement based abilities. That would be one thing that I would, I would have wished for. Abilities that like allow you to like sprint across a field, hit a guy, and then like move somewhere else. Do you think we have something to look forward to with that with the centaurs? With the horse people. It would make sense, right? It's actually true. Ah, I like that. All right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks see for watching, everybody. Time.